everyone. Today I'm going to talk to you guys real quick about grounding and a very simple, very easy way to do it. Now, I know in today's society we are rush, rush, rush. We always have to get things done now. And, um, you know, we've got a spouse or we've got kids or we've got this and that and everything else. We're kind of like rushing around and we're like, ah! And a lot of the times you feel ungrounded. Well, one of the main reasons why we feel ungrounded is because we are scattered and we forget to center ourselves when we first wake up and forget to center ourselves throughout the day and before we go to bed. So this is a very, very, very simple exercise that you can do at any time, especially when you go into a place like, um, just recently I was with one of my friends and her daughter was feeling very scattered and she was like, ah, and so I, I shared with her this exercise and it helped almost immediately. So it's very easy. Take two fingers like this and bend them so that this little part is flat and put this part against your heart chakra, okay? That will help center yourself because you'll push and you'll feel that sensation of pushing your heart chakra and that helps activate your heart chakra, okay? Then take a deep breath in and then exhale. Then after you breathe in and out, and you keep, you know, pushing on your heart chakra, then envision your aura. And most of the time when we feel scattered and ungrounded, that's because our aura and our feelers, what I call them feelers, get kind of sticking out and it's almost like a cactus or almost like a little kind of jellyfish type thing where all of our little feelers and tentacles are out, okay? Okay, so take a deep breath in and then release it. And then picture all those feelers coming in, okay? It's very simple. So, first breath, you just focus on your heart chakra. Activate that heart chakra. Second breath, feelers in. Now, don't do this, okay? So, just envision all your feelers coming in for the second step. And by the third breath, you should feel centered and grounded, okay? So let's run through this exercise one more time. You're feeling scattered, you're like, ah. Just take your breath, or you, well, you know, take your hand. Heart chakra, take a deep breath in, out. That activates the heart chakra. Now envision all of those feelers coming in. And then take one last breath. So three breaths. First breath. Activate the heart chakra. Second breath, feelers in. Third breath, it centers you. Now you should start feeling grounded. Now I know a lot of people who grow roots into the earth. That's another way that you can do it. Wherever you're at, something is always touching the ground. Even if you are sitting on a chair or a couch and your feet are not on the ground, that chair, that couch, or that bed is still touching the ground, okay? So you can still use the surface in which your bottom or your back or your side is on. You can do the same thing. You can activate your heart chakra. You can do the feelers in, second breath. Third breath, envision roots going from your body into the ground and drinking in the nutrients of the earth. And that will help you reground yourself. That will help you center yourself and re-energize yourself, okay? There are many, many, many different ways to ground. These are two that I use. The main one that I use is feelers in. And this is one that I use for my children a lot. And they're, okay. There are basically two types of people. There are auditory learners, which they learn by hearing and seeing, okay, auditory, visual. And then there's learners who learn by doing, which is like a kinesthetic learner, okay? Well, now, one of the things that I've learned through my practice and through working with people are those of you who are auditory, visual, have more success in doing the root method of grounding, and those that are kinesthetic 
which learn by doing, have more success grounding with the feelers in. I don't know why, but that's what I've experienced in my students and in, in my practice um, with those that I've, I've done this exercise with. If you have a different method of grounding, please do a video response so that all of us can learn from each other, because that's why we're here. You know, we're here to share, we're here to learn and experience everything together. Yay! So I hope this has helped you learn how to ground in a few different ways that work for me and the people that I've worked with. And I look forward to watching any video responses for anyone that has any other types of grounding methods. So, bless the bee and have a fantastic day. Bye-bye.